Okay, sit down. How are you doing? I'm doing so hot. I think and feel as though people have called me here to electrocute me, judge me, put me in jail, or kill me, electrocute me because of some of the sins I've been in. Is this a new feeling for you? The main thing is don't get excited, but the thing is, is, uh, it's not a new feeling, no. I, uh, I'm scared of people. Must be very frightening for you, though. Feel so like you're scared, about to get killed. I'm so scared, I can tell you that picture's got a headache. Can you tell me more about that? The picture has a headache? Could you? You want to know? Yes, I do. Okay, when a sperm and an egg go together to make a baby, only one sperm goes up in the egg. And when they touch, there's two contact points that touch before the other two. And then it's carried up into the egg. And when they fuse, it's like nuclear fusion, except it's human fusion. There's a mass loss of the proton. One heat abstraction goes up in the electron, spins around, comes back down into the proton to form the mind, and the mind can be reduced to one atom. Jerry, in one patient at one time, shows almost every one of the major features of schizophrenia. His thinking is disorganized. The thoughts are loosely connected. He has formed delusional ideas. Some of those delusions are grandiose. Some of them are paranoid. He has disturbances in his mood. His mood is, in some cases, almost absent, and in other cases, is totally inappropriate. And his behavior is disordered. It's unusual. He has mannerisms that uh, are inexplicable. He has purposeless, aimless behavior around the ward. Uh, he's a textbook case. He combines all those things in one person. I guess the way I think of schizophrenia is that schizophrenia is an illness. It's a total picture. Uh, it's not like a peculiarity of behavior. It's not as if somebody has a sort of idiosyncrasy or has some peculiar way of doing things or thinking things. Schizophrenia is, a, is an involvement of a person in illness. Uh, there, is a, there is abnormalities of behavior, there are abnormalities of thinking, there are abnormalities of feeling, there are abnormalities of the way people move across a room, uh, there are peculiarities in what people perceive. Uh, there seems to be a, a very global impairment of what we think of as the highest psychological functions, the most intricate, sophisticated, complex psychological functions that people have.